Hi, my name is Abby. I'm with Dawson Taylor Coffee Roasters, and today I'm going to show you how I make my coffee at home. My brew method of choice is the Hario V60. I love this brew method because it's simple and it produces a really clean, nice cup of coffee. First, we're going to fold our filter, open it up, give it one more little fold so it stays open nicely inside the V60. Our next step is going to be to wet the paper filter. In doing this, you're not only warming up your vessel, you're warming up the Hario V60, and then you're also pre-wetting the filter and washing away any paper flavors that might still be in the filter. You'll then want to discard water, tear out your scale, and then we're gonna add 20 grams of freshly ground coffee. I'm gonna give it a little shake, and then I like to do a little divot in the center just to help uh, get all the grounds wet evenly. And then we're gonna tear that out one more time so that we can weigh our water. Hit start on the timer. And then we're gonna start in the very center and pour in little circles outward until we get all the grounds wet. Should be around 40 grams of water. We're gonna let the coffee bloom so that all the gases can escape and so we get a nice even extraction. All right, at 30 seconds, we're gonna start in the center and we're gonna do little circles out slowly. The key with pouring out of the gooseneck kettle is to try to see the water falling down rather than arcing. And you wanna try to keep the water flow away from the actual filter. The way that the V60 is designed, the water will pass right by the coffee and not, not actually extract any coffee if you touch the filter. And you're just gonna keep consistently pouring slowly over the grounds in circles, starting from the inside moving out until you get to 320 grams of water. And once I reach my 320 grams of water, I like to give it a little swirl. And the little swirl just allows for any coffee that was on the edge to work its way down and create a nice flat bed for a nice even extraction. Our goal brew time would be somewhere between two minutes and 30 seconds and three minutes. I'm using a one to 16 ratio with this brew, but you can alter yours to one to 15, one to 14, one to 17, depending on how strong or weak you like your coffee to be. Once the, all the water has passed through, you can then pour your brew into your preheated mug. I'm ready to enjoy your cup of coffee.